All right, we got a uh, scale, livestock set, scale. I bought it through Amazon instead of the manufacturer, which is, uh, let me see, what's the name of the manufacturer? I'm not gonna, I'll tell you what it is in a minute. <clears throat> Scale's pretty heavy. Ugh. And these look like a uh, electrical connection, like a VGA, and uh, I don't know what those are yet. See what's up. The cord that goes to the monitor. And not sure where. I'm guessing once you get the legs on there, it'll have room for it to. Uh, That. And then we will, that gives it enough room underneath where you can route your cable through. Get your grip mat. Nothing sliding around on there. And then this one. your display. Uh, I'm still trying to get that model. Thought I'd say something on the doesn't even say in here. I guess so, so you can mount it. Um, you gotta 
toaster or something. This will just plug right in right here. And then this will plug in right here. I guess if you want to route it to a monitor, that's what that probably is for. These two pieces here, these little wheels are going to be your wheels to clamp into there. And it looks like if you don't want to use DC power, bring it out to the field and use some double A's, three. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's see if it even works. That reading all the instructions. So it looks like it works. All right. And uh, it's pretty heavy. What I think I'll do is, um, you know, if you got like a, uh, a basket, let's say you're weighing uh, something small, maybe a, a lamb or a kid just born, and you want. I'm gonna I'm gonna build a little containment for this to sit in, but let's say you just want to use like maybe a <clears throat> a basket or something or a crate, a milk crate to put your uh, your kid in, so it doesn't jump out. You put that on there. Obviously, the weight of the basket's gonna affect it, so you can just put that on there, then zero it, and then it, before you put the kid in it. So you can get a true weight. You can also change the units to ounces, kilos, and you can hold, which I don't know about that yet, but the model number for the display, and it says on here, my scale LLC is MS7515. Basically called a uh, wing indicator. see if they put a model number on this. I, I'll look it up on my invoice, but it's a uh, popular popular one. It's a uh, it's like a BS660. And I think it's A and A or A and S scales. But I'll look that up. But here you go. You can see dog was on there this piece right here just comes off of here um, there you go and these four thingies corners are I guess the load bars they're all probably wired together and all the weight on top of this bar or this frame 
we'll uh, uh, once you put the legs on, we'll give it, if you don't have those legs on, it probably won't work as it won't work. This actually overhangs a little bit, so it probably wouldn't um, register. So you got to have those legs on there, um, and yeah, it's pretty. Um, Pretty heavy duty. It's heavy. I don't know what the weight is, but it's it's pretty heavy. This scale instructions is just for the indicator. So um, whole time, um, I guess maybe once you weigh something, you can push a hold, take the animal off or something. Maybe you can take the animal off and uh, gives you time maybe to record the number I, I'm, not, I'm not sure um i never on the scale like this uh the other part of this with the little adapter and, and things like that um, I, i'm thinking you can you can just hook it up to a monitor and that's what that is um i'm still not sure why it's got this you got this part Obviously, I put batteries in there, but you can plug it in. This is to the scale, and this part right here, um, you can see the side, that's where you put those little uh, dial bolts, I guess. Um, you can put it on that bracket and mount it in a fixed position. Um, that's for a cable to them. It's just probably just any monitor. And then maybe if um, your connection, only connection you got is maybe a male end, you can make this, into a, a female and that's what that is and it looks like it comes with the little screws to hold it in place i'm not sure what this part is it might just be to hold it all together so it's not friendly on there but pretty excited okay so the dimensions are going to be 43 inches by 20 and this model vs660 will go up to, weigh up to 660 pounds. So this is what you'll need for sheep, goats, whatever, dogs. If you start getting into cattle, there's a, you can get the next model up. I did spend $2.99 for this on Amazon. Um, there is some extra, I forget what the total, it was three something because of the tax and, um, forgot the other but it ended up being three something now if you get the vs whatever you can go like there's like a vs 1000 um you go higher that but this part right here is the cheapest part of the setup if you buy this scale because you can buy it with an enclosure that has the door on it and they get fancy they get the square tubed um painted unpainted you can get the round tube with the uh, no climb or the paddle on it um aluminum and you can spend like a thousand bucks i can build my own you can build it out of wood or whatever i didn't need all that so just for the scale the scale is the cheapest part of the entire thing it guarantees to be within 0.2 pounds so you know my dog was a uh, 35.2 or whatever he was um which is fine um also i read <clears throat> these legs they do have let me uh pull one out i did unthread one so you can see it's uh they do have a stop nut on there and you don't want to screw these all the way in, in the end of the bolt uh, the weight will end up causing problems with accuracy you so You'll probably want to unthread this bolt just a little bit and then and then put that in so that you just want to make these are just to make sure it's level but you don't want to push these all the way maxed out um that way you're not bottling them out the scale and then getting a false reading a close-up of the indicator here see it's got a nice led <clears throat> I mean, I just put my knife on there. I got nothing on there. Say my knife is 0. 0.4. So 
So, and that leveler, I didn't, I gotta put that back where it's level, but pretty clear to read. How it would do sitting outside all day, I wouldn't leave it outside all day. I would at least, I would probably uh, use this for an operation and then to turn it off. I would probably put this out there for uh, an operation, you know, doing all your maintenance for your animals, logging everything down, and doing it while you're doing the vaccines or wormer or tagging them or whatever you're doing. And then I'd probably break it down afterwards and bring it back inside and store it. I, I don't think I would want to leave it out in the elements. Um, or at least cover cover it um i wouldn't leave this in the sun uh, i don't know how weather tight it is but i wouldn't leave it out i wouldn't let the sun ruin my buttons and my display um, i have a grill pellet grill that has like a display on it and not even sitting in the sun just the dryness of the air ruined the plastic around it and stuff like that so i would definitely take care of it but I'm impressed with it. I haven't put it to use yet, but it's pretty heavy and it's going to help me a lot. I just, I like it. I didn't think it was going to be as high quality as it actually is. Um, I think it's a good price for a scale. You can start pricing them out, but what you're going to spend a lot of the money on if you want the, the complete setup is they're going to charge you a lot if, if you buy the scale with the enclosure. If you have any kind of handy skills whatsoever, I recommend you just buy the scale and you could uh, build the enclosure yourself. The little goats aren't such a problem and you don't want to sit there and hold the goat while you're weighing it because it's going to give you a false reading. So that weight's going to be in your hands, the, whether you're using the horns or whatever. So you want to have some kind of structure around it to act as like a wall to keep them in containment um to give you that accurate reading so should be pretty easy you could build a cage that just sits around it and hog wire it like cattle panel for instance just cut enough so we know the dimensions is 43 by 20 cut two 20 inch long pieces and two 43 inch pieces or maybe a half inch longer than the actual piece here um or even an inch and then hog wire them and hog wire uh, rings or hog rings are really cheap the tool to get them to to squeeze them together is super cheap and that's just something that's super simple you can stick over the top and those hog panels those cattle panels are four foot high so it'd be perfect it doesn't take much to contain the little ones at least um so even uh, four pieces of plywood, you know, if you can get it clamped together or something, um, put a piece of two by four in the corners or four by four in the corners just to have something for the plywood to screw in. Uh, just put a quick little piano hinge on one end and you can put the goat in there, the bigger ones. Something as simple as that. Um, if you're looking at um, a couple pieces of plywood. So that's going to be way cheaper than spending uh, seven hundred dollars on the the what they want to sell as a package with this. So I would just do that. But thought I'd just do a quick unboxing. There's not a lot of videos on these scales. Um, there are a couple, and they're great. But I had actually never seen an unboxing of one. So um, this is the scale that I see. The people that I follow are using some of a couple of them anyways, and, and it's going to work out great here. I'm excited to use it in the next week. So there you have it. Hope you guys like it. I haven't put a video out in a long time. Um, it's been busy around here. Got a lot of stuff going on, and uh, got a goat head stuck in the goat got her head stuck in the fence. So I'll go deal with that. But if you like this video, quick thrown together, not too much editing, um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll, put some, I'll post some more content in the near future. Thanks. 
Hey guys, so I forgot I will put the link to the scales on the website from their actual company website below in the description. You can check it. Um, this is the hog sheep goat dog scale, which is the VS660. The next model up is going to be the VS2000, I believe, which goes up to 2200 pounds, and there's a VS3000. But you'll be able to see all the options for each scale. Also, there's load bars and enclosures and everything like that. Um, they sell more than just livestock scales. Um, hope this helps. Also, the Amazon, um, this I don't think this was a prime item. That's why I did have to pay the shipping, which is $4 and something. That's probably the handling. The tax is going to probably depend on your state, I guess. Um, the website actually says it's free shipping, so it might be... A few dollars cheaper if you buy it through the website I don't know if it'll be any faster this took about 10 days to get but any questions um, just throw them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thanks for watching